Hi everybody, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, a doctor, lawyer, turned homeschool mom of three kids ages nine, six, and four. If you're interested in videos about secular homeschooling, raising a child with ADHD, and living a more essentialist lifestyle in general, you've come to the right place, so hit that subscribe button below the video. Today I will be talking to you a little bit about History Pockets from Evan Moore. Now this one in particular is Ancient Civilizations and it is designed for grades 1 through 3, though honestly I think that even older kids would enjoy it if you have a mixed age group in your homeschool. Now the Ancient Civilizations book includes seven different pockets for seven different concepts. You have what is history, ancient Mesopotamia, ancient Egypt, ancient Greece, ancient Rome, ancient China, and the ancient Aztec world. The way the pockets work are kind of like this, what you see on the cover. Basically, you can take a 12 by 18 piece of construction paper, fold it up and staple it, and create a pocket for the information from each of these seven topic areas. I actually probably will not make freestanding pockets for these activities. What I'll probably do is create pockets within a spiral bound collection of cardstock that I generally do for interactive gluing and pasting activities like this. And basically it's really easy. Just go find a pack of colored cardstock or white cardstock, whatever um, takes your fancy, and just have it spiral bound at Staples or um, Office Depot or whatever. And then you have a nice sturdy book that can hold a lot of these types of activities for you. However, if you did want to go ahead and make the pocket, they give you very clear instructions right here on how to do it and how you could create your own freestanding pockets. Before I get into the details of the book, I just wanted to show you this page, which very clearly goes over exactly what's included in this book for each pocket. So every pocket has an overview page where it talks about the activities presented in the pocket. Then you have a pocket label for the students to color in and get ready for the front of their pocket where they paste it, as you can see right down here. And then a few different words to know for their dictionary. And then they have a teacher fact sheet as well as the student booklet. So you have all these different pages to make the student booklet. And then you have different activities to do at the very end. The very first reproducible page they include is Ancient Civilizations, which works for all of the pockets. The what is history section is more general and it does sort of place the six other units on a timeline for you so the students get an idea of what ancient history is all about. There's a little introduction. This is all pocket activities with the vocab words that they need to know. There's a teacher answer key right here and then you have a map of ancient civilizations to show you where those civilizations actually were. Each of the pockets is structured in a fairly similar way, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you ancient Mesopotamia. Basically, here you have your teacher guide or instructional page where it talks about what you have to cut and paste, what the fact sheet is, what the student booklet is, and what the different activities are. So the activities here include a postcard from ancient Mesopotamia, Mesopotamian puppets, sailing on the river, and a ziggurat pop-up book. My son loves pop-ups and paper art, so I know he's going to love this. So on the first reproducible page, you have um, the title, Ancient Mesopotamia, and words to know. And then you have your Ancient Mesopotamian fact sheet. This is one of those things I'm going to use as a tool to teach my children how to highlight, by the way. I think it's a really important skill to learn how to highlight keywords and understand what you should glean from a text. Here you have a picture of the area of ancient Mesopotamia, as well as some more facts for their fact booklet. And then you have the activities. So here you have the ancient postcard and students actually write a postcard as if they were from ancient Mesopotamia to a friend. There's Mesopotamian puppets. You can cut these out and actually attach them to like um, popsicle sticks. So you have puppets to play with. So this activity is pretty cool. This is sailing on the river and it shows you um, the Tigris River right there and the student actually creates like a little pop-up boat that can go down the river which I think is really cute. You have the little boat forms for your sailing down the river and then you have the ziggurat pop-up book and this is also really cute. It gives you very clear instructions on how to make a pop-up and then it tells you exactly where um, you can cut. Here's the little pattern for your ziggurat pop-up book and a little description of a ziggurat. And then it moves on into ancient Egypt. And now I'm just going to flip the pages so you can kind of see the contents. But you'll always have some puppets. You'll always have a cut and paste three-dimensional type of activity. Here you have a pyramid. For ancient Greece, you have the maps, the informational description, the postcard, the puppets, 
I think you build a little Parthenon, which is adorable, like a, a pop-up opening and closing Parthenon. Um, a theater mask, so a happy mask and a sad mask. In ancient Rome, again, you have the instructional booklet pages, the postcard from Rome, the puppets, and the activities include a, a laurel wreath crown that you make out of a white paper plate, and you also need some different colored construction paper and a narrow red ribbon. Then you have the triumphal arch, so right here, and what you end up with is this little page with the information inside of it. So they cut it out and then they write their name on the line at the top and they're gonna call it the arch of whoever um, their name is. So the arch of, and then your student's name, and then you can actually draw the picture or whatever you want of what is coming through, which might be them in a celebratory fashion. Then you have ancient China. And again, very similar pages until you get to the activities. So here you have a dancing dragon and Chinese lanterns. And here's your lantern patterns. And then you have the Aztec world. So you always have a map to show you where it was and some informational pages. And then you have your puppets, the postcard, and an Aztec calendar as the activity. You also have the opportunity to create a feather fan. So you would need um, either construction paper to make your own feathers or real feathers to make it even cooler. And then there is an evaluation after all seven pockets so that the students have an opportunity to review all of their pockets and they make a passport of the different pockets to show that they have visited those areas, which I think is a really cute um, culminating activity. This is a fully reproducible book and I plan to use it with each of my children and I think everyone from the four-year-old to the nine-year-old will have a good time with this next year as we go through ancient history. So as you know I am now an affiliate for Evan Moore and my affiliate link will be in the description box down below if you guys are interested in learning more about ancient civilizations or any of the other history pockets that they offer. Which so as I mentioned, this particular edition of History Pockets for Ancient Civilizations is geared for grades one through three, but they also have two other History Pockets books that are also geared for grades one through three, and they are Life in the Plymouth Colony and Native Americans. Now they have several, I believe about eight different ones for grades four through six, and those are a little bit more complex. And they include the topics, the American Civil War, the American Revolution, ancient Rome, ancient Egypt, ancient Greece, colonial America, explorers of North America, and moving west. So as you can see, with all of these different history pockets, you could easily create an interactive history curriculum for your students as you progress through history with them in elementary and middle school. As I mentioned before, I'm now an affiliate for Evan Moore and my affiliate link will be in the description box down below. So if you are interested in looking into any of Evan Moore's products, including their history pockets, please be sure to check out my affiliate link down below. As always, you guys, I so appreciate your time. Thanks for spending some of it with me and I wish you the very best day.